is going into the start house. There he is. He looks ahead. What does he see? A yellow jersey and the Arc de Triomphe? Or is he going to be beaten by Andy Schnell? take the chances well I tell you one thing when he saw that the race was disappearing for him on the slopes of the Col de Galibier after the incredible attack of Andy Schleck he single-handedly rode at the front of the main field for 11 and a half kilometers and pulled it slowly back 21.09 and that's a very slow time I would have to say for uh, Andy Schleck going through there but he's now he's coming into the part of the course that might help his advantages so, Schleck now, he's, uh, he realised it was a, a big hope, he was hoping to have a bigger buffer going into this final individual time trial, and uh, he went through a 17th best time at 57 seconds, he two seconds slower than his brother. Well, that's a surprise, two seconds slower than his brother Frank with that check for the yellow jersey. Now 36 uh, seconds, uh, he has lost to Cadell Evans on the day, so that's 21 seconds is what Cadell Evans needs now. Himself it's zero. Present. Correct. They are equal on time. Cadell Evans and Andy Schleck. Well, they're turning it over now. They're giving it to the one advantage, one second advantage to uh, Cadell Evans over Andy Schleck. Now this is going to be a huge battle all the way down on the running towards the finish. Evans will know that. The team manager will be screaming in his ear this afternoon to tell him, "Come on, Cadell, this is the time when you can put that third jersey on your shoulder. Become the first Australian ever to have won this grand event." It is moving rapidly ahead of Andy Schleck now. Now he's pushed it out. It's only computer. The next time check will confirm. But Cadell Evans now leads the Tour de France by four seconds. Very, very close indeed to the time of Tony Martin. He won't be far off the best time. He slipped just a little bit. Now he's looking to better the time of uh, Thomas de Ghent. The clock will stop now and he's only seven seconds slower than Tony Martin. Evans goes through 40-33.
swinging into the home straight. And as he lines up for that home straight finish now, this is the winning ride of the Tour de France. Bet your boots on it as Cadell Evans of Australia makes history today. Look at the crowd and there's thousands of Australians here, let me remind you, as he grits his teeth and pulls for Australia. Cadell Evans cannot be beaten now. He is over a minute to the good. He has absolutely slaughtered his opposition in just 42 and a half kilometers of racing. His time is 55.40. It's second best of the day. He shrugs his shoulder, but he's won the Tour de France.